Here in the i button and in description box below, you will get complete playlist of Fourier integral. Welcome to video number one. And in this video, we are going to start with a new chapter that is Fourier integral. And in this video, we are going to see what is the formula for Fourier integral, what is the formula for Fourier cosine integral, and what is the formula for Fourier sine integral, and where to use which formula. Okay? Yes. So before I start this video, I would request you to subscribe to my channel. And if you learn something from my videos, then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of Fourier integral with your friends. If you are doing this, you are supporting me, and I really need your support. So let us start with a new chapter. That is Fourier integral. Okay, okay. The Fourier integral of function f of x is given by f of x equals to one upon pi integration zero to infinity integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of t cos lambda t minus x dt d lambda. Okay, yes. Here you need to remember that this limit is for t and this limit is for lambda. Okay, f of x equals to one upon pi integration zero to infinity. Integration minus infinity to infinity f of t cos lambda t minus x dt d lambda. This is the formula for Fourier integral. Now let us see what is the formula for Fourier cosine integral. Very 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 important. The Fourier cosine integral of f of x is given by one upon pi integration zero to infinity integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of t into cos lambda t plus cos lambda x dt d lambda. Okay. Again. This limit, that is minus infinity to plus infinity, is the limit for t. Okay, and uh, the limit zero to infinity is the limit for lambda. Okay. Now here, since <clears throat> first we need to integrate with respect to t. Okay. So this is independent of t. Okay. Here you can see this is not a function of t. So we can take this out of this integration. So one upon pi is as it is integration zero to infinity. This cos of lambda x is here. Again, integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of t f of t into cos lambda t. Okay, again dt d lambda. First, we need to integrate this. Okay, then this limit is for lambda. Okay, so again there is another thing, uh, another other uh, another thing that we need to discuss. There is another thing that we need to discuss, and that very important thing is yes. Here you can see. Okay. That is the limit is for minus infinity to plus infinity for t. Okay, and we need to apply for the cosine integral. If it is asked in the problem to apply for any function, we need to find the cos for uh, for the cosine integral. Or let's say, if it is asked in the problem that is find the for the integral of any function. In that case, we need to check whether the function f of x is uh, even function or odd function. Okay, if that is an even function, it means we need to uh, apply. For the cosine integral, okay, and if the limit, okay, if the function f of x is given as uh, odd function, in that case we will apply for the sine integral, okay. Yes, if the case is neither even nor odd case, in that case we will apply for the integral, okay. This formula, fine. But suppose the function is even function, okay. It means we need to apply for the cosine integral. In that case, what we need to do is yes. Here you can see. The limit is of minus infinity to plus infinity, and the function is even. So what we can do is we can replace this integration minus infinity to plus infinity with two into integration zero to infinity. Okay? Yes. This is the change that we need to uh, make. Okay? So this is replaced with two into integration zero to infinity, and rest is same. That is two upon pi integration zero to infinity cos lambda x integration zero to infinity f of x. Cos lambda t dt d lambda. Okay. Now coming to the last, that is Fourier sine integral. Okay. Fourier sine integral of any function f of x is given by one upon pi integration zero to infinity integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of t sine lambda t into sine lambda x dt d lambda. Again, this limit is for t and this limit is for lambda. Now since this limit is for T, so we can take this out of this integration being constant. Okay, so this is this can be written, uh, this can be written as one upon pi integration minus zero uh, to infinity sine lambda x integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of t sine lambda t dt d lambda. Okay, very 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 important. Again, I am saying that is since we need to apply this formula where f of x is 
odd function okay if the function f of x is an odd function in that case we'll go for this formula or in the question it is directly asked that is uh, find the Fourier sine integral of any function in that case also we can use this formula okay now since the function is odd so we can use Fourier sine integral it means we need to replace this limit that is minus infinity to plus infinity with 2 into integration limit to 0 to infinity okay this limit is replaced with 2 into 0 to infinity okay so this is going to be 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x integration 0 to infinity f of t sin lambda t dt and d lambda okay yes now we'll start with some problems okay